gorgeous French resort town of Avion hosts the Avion Masters. This spot where folks normally go to relax will be another site in the ongoing battle to determine the woman who is the true number one on the LPGA Tour. Tom Abbott has more. Twelve months ago, Ai Miyazato's win at the Evian Masters sparked a tremendous run. Five wins, which culminated in a victory at the ShopRite Classic and the number one spot in the Rolex Women's World Rankings. Miyazato is now back on top of the world, despite the fact that the LPGA was off last week. Just a fraction of a point, edging her above Christy Kerr. <laughs> it feels a little bit weird. I did nothing and <laughs> suddenly just, uh, you know, um, came up again. So, uh, but um, uh, still feels good and, uh, you know, it's still close to the in top five players and, uh, you know, the tournament is still competitive, so I try my best. The ranking systems, it's, it's hard to figure that out. Uh, I, I just try and play the best golf that I can and, you know, you, you try not to lose it let alone you know when you neither of you play a tournament losing it so i don't know how they figure all that out but you know hopefully they play well and, and regain it this week paula crema would love to be on top of the rolex women's world rankings but she's still on top of the world following her return from injury and a first major victory at the u.s women's open i'm just trying to come out here and, and play as much golf as i can you know my thumb is still in a lot of pain so i still have to limit the amount of balls i can hit and you know last week i couldn't play at all uh, my last driver i hit was at oakmont and you know for me of course everybody knows that i've you know, said it many times i do want to be the number one player in the world but you know right now i'm just trying to to go with what i have and you know, how many events I can play is kind of up in the air, and, you know, we'll see. But, of course, when I do play an event, that is something that I'm gunning for. Joined now by Jane Crafter, who's going to be joining us in commentary this week at the Evian Masters. Now, Paula Creamer was playing her practice round today in the Pro-Am with Hugh Grant, but it's down to business tomorrow in competition. So who has the advantage? Because Creamer and Miyazato have both won here, but Kerr hasn't. No, exactly. Kerr's not had a great finish here yet, but I have to think that the greens that are really, really fast this week, and there's a lot of slope. You need a lot of imagination here at Evian, and uh, I believe that that will play into Christy Kerr's hands. She really does putt greens like that extremely well. Well, we should be in for a very good week. Let's hope the weather is kind, because the uh, forecast is brilliant for Thursday and Friday. You can see it, of course, when our coverage begins Thursday evening here on Golf Channel. Paula Kramer won this event five years ago. Michelle Wee had to pull out of the middle of the Pro-Am uh, because she became ill with heat exhaustion, but she is expected to tee it up as well on Thursday. We have exclusive coverage of all four rounds beginning Thursday night at 6.30. struck again this time in major fashion and not simply with a clothing statement. Ten days ago Paula Kramer secured her first major at the U.S. Women's Open, fitting that the American darling punched through in our national championship. Now Kramer is the world's best guest on this week's Grey Goose 19th hole. Her to-do list is growing after becoming a major champ. Skydiving it was on the list. Um, you know, a certain type of, of bag that I've always wanted to get was on the list as well. And, um, you know, the skydiving might not happen, you know, right away. I don't know if they're going to let me jump out of a plane with my, my thumb or just in general, but it is something that I will do and I want to do it. <laughs> what I overcame the last couple of months was just, I, I couldn't hold back my tears. I was, I was a little girl on that putting green. Um, but, you know, it was just emotions of just such hard work and you know, time, and like you said, I got that question an awful lot. When are you going to win a major? What's the best player to win a major? And now we, we never have to get asked that question. It's going to be, when are you going to win another major? Or when are you going to win a Grand Slam? You know, those kind of questions. And I can take those. 